Hello everyone, Clifford Bennett, Chief Economist, ACY Securities. Now, I've put out some slightly scary emails today and reports, written reports and blogs uh, for you to look at on the website. And I'm really trying to interrupt your pattern of thought and say, you know what? Sustained downside in equity markets from this point in time is a real possibility. It's not sort of just some exaggerated storyline. It's a very real and possible thing. Uh, as we're seeing the US market, hedge fund managers, etc., come back from their holidays proper uh, and really get involved with thinking about what's going on again, people are starting to realize what I and we've been saying here for a very long time now, and that is that inflation is completely out of control, uh, <laughs> the Fed has completely missed the boat, uh, and therefore is going to have to ramp up interest rates in a belated and exaggerated fashion. Uh, and that means the consumer is going to be hit by higher prices and higher interest rates on their credit and their mortgage all at the same time, and you're going to have some level of consumer retreat. So for me, it's not so much worrying about the impact of higher interest rates on this, and by the way, it's, it's a nonsense notion. It is not a law of economics that if interest rates go up, the stock market falls, or if interest rates go down, the stock market goes up, because they're often reacting to the same stimuli, a strong economy or a weak economy. So that's not the case here. It will have an impact. It certainly affects the sentiment on Wall Street, the people who don't really know understand how it all works. Um, <laughs> the people who understand how it all works, the people who run small and medium-sized businesses and they're at the cold face of a real economy. They're the people who understand how the economy works and we should listen to those people before we listen to the ivory uh, towers of Wall Street, ivory tower. Um, anyway, so, what I'm trying to say is I'm more worried about the impact on the consumer medium to long term in the United States rather than the mere fact that the Fed will be raising interest rates as one of the most laggard central banks in the world, only exceeded by the Reserve Bank of Australia, of course, but that's all another story. So the US economy cannot continue to boom in an environment of an inflation wages spiral that is getting out of control and higher interest rates that struggle to contain the inflation and the wages expectations. So I'm concerned that we're going to have the Fed raising interest rates and it doesn't work. What happens to the US economy in that situation? What happens to inflation? You know, inflation's going up, they're raising interest rates, they raise interest rates more, inflation still goes up, they're chasing it. They're chasing it late instead of having got ahead of the curve as we suggested six months ago. Um, we're the wrong nationality over here, but I guess, you know, we could still, I mean, the Bank of England appointed a governor from outside of the UK, a Canadian. Why couldn't the Fed have appointed? Anyway, I digress. So, interest rates, inflation, both high by the end of the year in the United States. That's an out of control situation. It cannot be good for Main Street USA. Now, the tech sector, another world, it has its own life. And it is certainly in more trouble at the moment than the broad market. So the tech bubble, I do believe, has burst simply because it's run its course like all bubbles do. Now, it's not a bubble as in it's vacuous and there's nothing uh, fundamental there. There's a lot fundamental there, but it could have a 10 or 20% downturn. For the US 500, I think that markets could go back to 4,000 4050 points, maybe 4048. No, I, I'm joking. Um, you know, it's to give you forecasts to give you an idea of where I feel the dominant risk is, the direction of it, and the degree of it. And I think for the moment, significant risk in the downside. Look, if we make a new high in US equities above what we saw in the past few weeks, my view goes out the window, literally, right? Not me, the view. I'm, I'm staying. Uh, but the view goes out the window. However, while we're in this volatile sideways, what I think is a major topping out volatile, that's what that's my technical description of it. My economic degree and everything has led me to believe that that's the scenario to look for. So please be mindful. There are real risks. Am I being negative? No, I'm an optimist because I think it's an opportunity to greatly accelerate your wealth. If you hedge and, 
use various instruments that are fully available these days to protect your investment portfolio in a downturn and then you're in a great position to buy things cheap when they are cheap as opposed to if you just hold on and prices fall away well your wealth going down with the prices fall and you're not in a position to buy at great prices when they happen so i am an optimist i'm saying a falling stock market is a great opportunity in fact when you get a falling stock market right that's when you have a chance of massive relative net worth wealth appreciation. It's something to think about. The other thing I think that's really important that's happening is that the US dollar will continue to appreciate. Now, I still remain bullish gold, right? So my problem challenge here is, well, it's not a challenge because what you should be is short euro, short Australian dollar, long gold. And those short positions will offset any drag down on gold by the US dollar strengthening, okay? So, but I think at some point gold gains traction, even though the US dollar is falling, not initially, but during the US dollar, sorry, US dollar appreciation. And the reason I'm doing my hands down is because you, know, you do Euro dollar, it's falling when the, Australian, when the US dollar is getting stronger. Um, and same with gold, but I think gold will find some traction somewhere and will begin to gain, it's like a four wheel drive, suddenly starts to get grip on the steep driveway, uh, even though it's, there's snow on it, suddenly starts to get grip. And the more, as it goes, it gets more and more steady. And I think gold still has that outlook. So I'm bullish the US dollar, which means selling euros, selling Aussie. Um, and I am bullish gold, which means weathering the initial weakness in gold to benefit from the longer term upside that gold is likely to have. Uh, that's all from me for today. Uh, I look forward to giving you another briefing soon. And uh, I just hope everything's going well for you. Do be careful, don't be fearful, do be careful and have a very good day. Clifford Bennett, Chief Economist, ACY Securities. Thank you very much.